Hey everyone, this is GuyZ23, and this is Dawn of War 2 Retribution Last Stand. As you can see, I'm playing as a Space Marine Captain with Imperial Fist DLC. I'm using the Armor of Vengeance and a plasma gun, even though I do have a jetpack, but, you know, I like to fly around and get away from enemies quickly. But I also have all these little other accessories too. My favorite being the revive, because when I revive someone, that also gives them an invulnerability. That way, when they right when they get revived, they have a chance to run away and use their abilities as well. There's two maps you can play on: the Bloody Colosseum and the Corn Thing. <laughs> yeah, I know the Corn Thing. It's kind of funny. Corn Flakes. <laughs> And we got two more players, one being the Tau Commander, which is on the very top right there, showing him the little accessories that he has. Unfortunately though, if you want to play as the Tau Commander, it's actually a DLC or downloadable content. Anyways, wave one, here we go. I'm going to start moving and capturing that point over there, while the Imperial Guard Commander Drop some. He dropped a heavy turret. Okay, now we got some orcs coming in. This is wave one, so it shouldn't be too hard. Let's see. I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna jump pack over here. And I'm gonna throw a grenade. There we go. Oop. Boom. As you can see, I make short work of those orcs. Let's see what these guys are doing. Yep. We're pretty much just building up everything. You know, like our defenses. At least, mostly the Imperial Guard guy is the general with his Orgrins, the little, you know, you see those big old guys right there with the ripper guns they have, which are like automatic shotguns. And he also has that heavy turret, which is very good for taking out uh, heavy infantry and vehicles. The Tau Commander also uh, can deploy what was like a shield generator thing. You'll see it later in this game. As you can see, I'm taking out these Termagons. Or I think, actually, no, they're Hormagons, excuse me. They're tier from the Tyranid race. Yep, Hormagons. And, and there's all the Termagons are the ones with the ra you know, the ranged attacks. Hormagons are the ones that fight in close combat. As you can see, they're no match for the Orgrins right here. Pretty much getting ripped to shreds. Literally by the Rippers. Get it? Oddly enough, the Tyranids do have a unit called the Rippers, but it's only a global ability, I believe. Now, wave 2 is complete. Now we're on to Wave 3, fighting the Eldar. Mostly going to be fighting Eldar Guardians, which is the basic infantry on the Eldar uh, race. As you can see, I can make short work of them. One grenade, boom, and plasma shot, boom, dead. I'm going to move my commander over here to this point. And there's a couple of guardians right there. Just take them out. A couple shots. And these Orgrins pretty much ripping them to shreds over there. Tau Commander using his... Well, I think it's... I don't know if that's a plasma gun or not, but... I'm not too fond of the Tau weaponry at all. I mostly played him in the original Dawn of War, but... I haven't really played him for a while, since I don't really play the original too much anymore. Now we're going to be fighting... Uh, the Imperial Guard, which are basically essentially like regular human troops, and they're pretty much cannon fodder, like, you know, Russian World War One infantry, you could say. They just rush to the front lines like they're nothing. But as you can see in the top left corner, there's also a uh, Space Marine picture, or Captain Diomedes, which basically means that we're going to be fighting Space Marines too. As you can see, two medics, I think. Yep, two medics and a commander, or a force commander, excuse me. And because he has a uh, demon hammer, he uh, is actually able to take out vehicles and buildings alike, which means he can take out that turret in a short amount of time, so we gotta push him away, which we are doing with the Orgrins. As you can see, boom, got knocked in the face, now he's dead. Way for complete. Alright, now we got Tyranids again. This time, they're going to be spawning Warriors, which are a heavy infantry close combat unit. There they are, right there. The big motherfuckers. And they can leap, too. See, I just jumped over there, that way I can throw a grenade. Let's see if that grenade will work. Yep, they got stunned. Bam, did a little bit of damage right there. 
And because I have a plasma gun, it ignores their heavy armor. Oh, one guy's just got down. I need to revive him. Oh, now you can see right here, I revived him. And now he has that little bubble shield thing going on. Yeah, I know, this isn't Halo 3. <laughs> but it's basically like a little refractor or shield, as you, if you will, where uh, he's completely invulnerable from damage at all for a little you know, short amount of time. Now you just dropped a Valkyrie. Oh, no, you don't. now we have two heavy turns. Oh, now we don't. I guess you can only have one at a time, because he wanted one with full health. Now we got orcs again. This time, more shooter boys. Oh, now we got two knobs over here, which are, like, basically an upgraded version of a, of a uh, orc. Because uh, a nub stands short for a, a noble. Because as orcs grow uh, older, they grow stronger as well. As you can see, they're a lot bigger and stronger. But no match for a space marine, which is technically ten humans put into one. So as you can see, he's getting the knock fucked over. If that even made any sense, but I don't care. <laughs> Let's see if I'm gonna let's see if I can jump pack over here. Oh yeah, that heavy turn's gonna go bye bye. Oh, those stick a bomb, stick a bombas, I think they're called. Got some shooter boys. I just threw that grenade. Now they're dead. And one, that's the reason why I'm going with the uh, jetpack slash plasma gun combo, because I can get in there, shoot a little bit, and because the plasma gun is really good against a ar he like heavy armor, and it also is really good against uh, heavy infantry as well. As you can see, pretty much effective against all types of units, but it shoots really slow and not all the shots are going to hit. Some of them will misfire or, you know, hit the ground, shit like that. Oh, now those banch howling banshees are t just took out that uh, heavy turret. Uh, they're jumping over to those orgrims fighting them. There's also some what the hell, the warp spiders? Yeah. They have the ability to teleport around the battlefield, as you can see. They're pretty damn annoying. But that's their whole job, is just to be a, an annoying nuisance. I was about to throw that nade, and now, you see what I mean? That's one good way of doing that. Now, let's see what's gonna happen now. Okay, now we got two warp spiders shooting. Oh, now they just teleported. Boom, boom, dead. And we got the shuriken cannon coming up from behind. Let's see if I can take it out before it sets up. Come on. Nope. It. Oh, there we go. All right. Now we kill the last warp spider. Wave seven complete. Now let's see what we're gonna fight next. Oh, more tyranids. This time we got a. Uh, oh, what the hell were those things called? A xanthrope. Yeah, it's a xanthrope. That's the, that's what they are. They're like a a psychic artillery unit that the tyranids have. Now I got warriors up on my ass and I'm trying to fly away. There we go. My energy is low, but at least my health is up. But now they're coming back for more. Let me get inside this building and regenerate a little bit and take cover. That's one neat thing about Last Stand is that even though you're pretty much by yourself with two other players, you can still go in one of two buildings. Usually there's one or two. And you can hide out there and just shoot out. And since, you know, by a guy specifically ra a ranged unit, he can, you know, it suits him very well. Instead of going up close and, you know, fighting with a power axe or something like that. And that Xanthrope's almost dead. Just, just a couple more hits. Now he's dead. Wave 8 complete. Alright, now we got more Howling Banshees from the Eldar. So now, of course, yeah, we are fighting the Eldar. Yeah. I know I didn't really pronounce that the right way, or showcase it the right way. Usually I say Eldar, then I'll say Howling Banshee. But I didn't say it that time, so whatever. Now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing right here. Let's see. I need to get the hell out. Oh, no, I'm suppressed. Move, move, move. Got a jetpack. Oh, I just... That was a stupid move. Alright, well, I, let me see what that frag does. Oh, it destroys it. Okay. Now let's move over here. Nope, let's move back over here. Get out of that line of fire of that short cannon. Let's see. Ooh, look at all those banshees going after that heavy turn. Oh, no, it's dead. Alright. I need to get, I need to kill those Howling Banshees. I'm gonna jump on top of them, throw a grenade. That's one of my best moves I have. I'll just throw it right next to me, fuck it. Go, 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 go. Boom! Oh man, I'm not gonna survive. Shit. Alright, now I'm down. Two of my pl or not players, but allies are still alive. The Imperial Guard Commander is now down. Hopefully the 
Tau Commander can revive me, that way I can use my ability to revive the other guy, and there he is right there. Alright, come on dude, make a move, make a move. Yep, there we go, revive me, there we go. He just stunned that vehicle crew right there, the shuriken can, excuse me. Alright, he's almost done reviving, okay, now I'm gonna revive that guy. As you can see, now the Imperial Guard unit, or commander is invulnerable for a little bit. I'm gonna use some of my abilities. Alright, let's see if I can. Oh, no, I'm actually, I'm gonna go in here, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot it out for a little bit and hide out while I let the other guys take care of the rest, because I need to regenerate everything. Health, energy, you name it. Alright, now the Tau Commander's taking quite a few hits. He needs to get to some cover or something, because if he doesn't, then it's game over. Go, 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 go. There's only a couple guys left, so they should have no problem with that. You got that shuriken cannon right there. There's another one right there. Alright, now we're just gonna wait it out, I guess, until this is destroyed. Alright, wave 9 complete. Now we're on to wave 10. More space marines this time. Ooh, with plasma gun upgrades. And these guys are very effective against heavy armor and heavy infantry, of course. I'm gonna... I should probably jump pack onto them. Well, at least maybe not these guys. There are co people coming up from the rear, though. A lot of them. You can see on the mini-map. Yep. There's a shit ton of them. As long as you can hold them back and keep knocking them back. Ooh, we got some scouts. Invisible, too. Better move over here. Get into that building. Put those plasma guns ripping to shreds. Let those orbrins take the rest of the melee combat. Come on. Oh, there we go. Getting a couple shots on him from behind. Mostly taking out the scouts, though. They're pretty easy. Spa Look at that guy. I got a space marine just standing right next to me, right there. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Did he, I think he dropped a heavy turret. No, he just dropped reinforcements, that's all. Okay. Now we're on to wave 11. Orcs this time. Storm boys. Got some storm boys. Ooh, now we got an upgraded version of a knob. With a uh, very large club. I see. Better get the hell out of there. Go, 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 go. Come on, heavy turret. Do your thing. Oh, look at all those storm boys. Good thing I got out of their way. I just threw a terrible grenade. You gotta time your nades, unfortunately. They don't explode on impact. There's like a little timer, about a, a second and a half or something like that. And we got all these guys converging into this one area. Now they're just duking it out. That, I, that Imperial Guard Commander, or General, excuse me, he's about to die. Yep, he's trying to get away, but yep, he's done. Goodbye. Somehow I'm gonna have to get the hell out of here, too. Oh, they're all stunned. I'm gonna jump pack their ass. Alright, I don't have enough energy for a grenade. Better move back a little bit. I'll let the Tau... Oh, now he's dead too. Shit! Oh, it's up to me now. Looks like I have to clutch. Let's see if I can duke it out in here for a little bit. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. They're gonna take down this building before anything else happens. Yeah, see, as you can see, the building's getting torn apart a little bit. Yep, now the top half is gone. Better get the hell out of here and jump pack. Go, 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 go. See if I have enough to revive. Yep, I do. I'm gonna do that. Revive the Imperial Guard Commander. Now he's invulnerable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in that building and cover fire with my plasma gun while he deploys some Orgrins. And just fucking rip them to shreds, hopefully. Yeah, pummel their asses. Alright. I'm gonna wait it out before I revive the other commander. Can't be too sure. Alright, now he's got another little re- I guess he deployed reinforcements. I'm gonna revive the Tau commander. Oddly enough, his name is Opum Gang Gangnam Style. I think I've seen enough of that on YouTube already. <laughs> oh, I hate it when those little stupid notifications come up. If you guys ever been on Steam, you'd understand. I know it's a little bit off-topic, but trust me, it gets annoying. 
Alright, I'm just taking out this knob. That's pretty much it's all that's left for wave 11. Now we're on to wave 12. Ooh, now we got the music has changed. Uh oh. We got some Wraith Lords coming in from the Eldar. And some Banshee, Howling Banshees. Warp Spiders. A little bit of Guardian Squads. And two Shuriken Cannons. There, there's the Eldar Walker known as the Wraith Lord right there. My plasma gun can actually take it out, along with along with the nades that I can throw. But it can only do that so much, especially with all these guys trying to kill me. There's another freaking walker over there. Oh my god, there's a shit ton of them. We gotta work together. Oh, the IG commander is now dead. Or, he's not dead, but he's downed. But I'm about to go along with him, along with the Tau commander, if we don't do something quick. Alright, I killed one of those walkers. I'm gonna go over here, see if I can revive. Oh, fuck, I don't have enough energy. Yeah, see, I'm just gonna destroy this walker right here with that nade. Boom! Okay, I killed a couple of their units along with that Wraith Lord. Unfortunately, though, I'm gonna go along with them. And there's the end of that. I hope I'm gonna type something in, let's see, tell this guy to revive me, see if he, so he can do that. Alright, where's the button? I think it's, uh, enter? Yep, okay, there we go. Revive me! Revive me! Oh, uh, it's too late. Fuck. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, guys, well, that'll be the end of that. It was good while it lasted. As you can see, you can only do so much if you don't work with your team. I mean, I was trying to, but, you know, I, was, I didn't type fast enough, I guess. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll post more like these. I love Warhammer. Alright, see you later. Bye.